There are three key things about the Sennheiser Profile microphone that might make it the best value USB microphone that you can buy right now. And in full disclosure, this microphone was sent out to me for the purpose of making this video, but all opinions are my own, and this is not a paid or sponsored video. And the first one is that it sounds like a Sennheiser microphone. Now, I think that seems like it goes without saying because it is a Sennheiser microphone, but the fact is whether you're looking at a Rode or a Shure or a Sennheiser microphone, each of these manufacturers manufactures their microphone capsules in a certain way, they tune their microphones in a certain way, and if you like the sound of a Rode microphone, you're probably going to like the sound of other Rode microphones. And in this case, if you like the sound of Sennheiser microphones, you're probably going to like the sound of this microphone. And this is only important because it's not uncommon as you go down in price point and you try to deliver a product that is very budget friendly, you often lose that tone or character that people are looking for in that brand of microphone. And I think with this Sennheiser microphone, although it doesn't sound like a $2,000 Sennheiser microphone, it still sounds like a Sennheiser microphone. So you're getting that Sennheiser clarity and character at a very budget friendly price. Now the second feature is that this is a plug and play USB microphone. That means you simply plug it into the computer and it works. Whether it be Mac or PC, you just select it as the audio input in your computer and the sounds going straight, straight through to your computer and recording. This is contrary to a lot of the new USB microphones out there that require an entire suite of software to be put onto your computer to get the most out of them. And this is important because with those other microphones, often they don't sound their best when you just plug them into the computer. You actually have to use that audio processing software to get the most out of them. Where the Sennheiser microphone, since it's just plug and play, it's been designed right out of the box to sound very, very good without any tuning or software whatsoever. And the next thing is the the ability of this microphone to isolate handling noise when you're tapping on the desk, you're moving the boom arm, or you touch the microphone. This is actually huge because a lot of these budget-friendly microphones are terrible for that. So if you're streaming or gaming, you're bumping the desk, every little bump and boom is going to come straight through into the microphone. And in my testing, this setup with the boom arm that I've got here isolated that handling noise, desk noise, and moving the boom arm as well, if not better, than my Shure SM7B on my Rode microphone arm. And that is a setup that's about four times the price of what I'm using here. And so there are microphones out there that sound reasonably good, but if they can't isolate that handling noise, they really aren't great for podcasting and streaming. They could only be used in sort of a controlled environment where you can set things up where no one is going to be touching or tapping the desk or moving the boom arm. Now the microphone comes in two different packages. The standard pack is $129 retail, and that comes with the microphone, a little desktop stand, which just has it sort of low sitting on top of your desk, and it comes with a two meter USB-C cable. The setup that I'm using today is what's called the streaming set. That comes with the microphone. It comes with a little pouch for the microphone to go in. It comes with this boom arm, which is actually an excellent high quality boom arm, mostly made of metal. And it comes with a three meter USB-C cable. The USB-C cable being three meters is excellent because it allows me to route it. And as you can see, I've got the mic uh, boom arm here and it goes all the way down away from my computer, then back around my monitor in and into my computer. So that gives me the cable I need to, to route it just about any situation I could imagine using it in. And it's not uncommon for this U these USB microphones to come with a very short cable. So I really like that. And it also has the ability to route the cable in the boom arm itself. So as you can see, it just comes out of the microphone and then it runs along inside the boom arm itself, creating a really clean look and keeping the cable out of your way. I think that's a clever little feature. I'll put some links to the best pricing I could find on both microphone packages in the description down below, as well as an additional package that I identified that actually has a set of headphones included in that pack. On the microphone itself, you're gonna get all the controls you need to control the microphone, the gain, everything is on the microphone. You don't have to go into your computer and use any software. And the first thing is you're going to get a soft touch mute switch. This is going to allow you to mute your audio without going into your computer and the soft touch means you're not getting any clicking or clunking. Now you hear me with the mute switch disabled. And now I've turned the mute switch back off. And what you'll see is when I turn the mute switch on, it lights a little red ring around the mute switch so you know that you have muted the microphone. So you can't mistakenly mute the microphone and not realize that it's, that it's muted or not muted. Now just below that, you have the microphone gain. This controls how strong the signal is going into your computer. And it also has a little light around it. 
And when you get too loud and you get clipping or distortion, that little ring goes red. So it lets you know if you are getting clipping and you're being too loud. So you have a visual indicator right on the microphone. So if you're streaming or doing anything like that, you just have to keep an eye on that and make sure it's green, not going red, and you know you've got your gain set at an appropriate level. Below that, you have the pan function for your audio output. Because this microphone has what's called zero latency monitoring, which allows you to he plug headphones into the microphone itself and hear the audio re you're recording, as well as the audio that's going on in your computer, it has the ability to pan that back and forth so you're either hearing only what's coming out of the microphone and into the headphones, or only what's coming out of the computer, or a combination of both. And this knob allows you to adjust how much of the of what you're hearing is coming from the microphone and how much is coming from the computer and what level, level those are at. So it just allows you to balance those audio inputs, the microphone and the computer, so you can get it sounding the way you want. And then below that, you've just got the headphone volume control. So once again, this is everything you need to control the sound of your podcast as well as the sound and what you're monitoring all on the microphone itself. You don't have to go into the computer. You don't need any additional software to do that. And it's really hard for me to find any negatives about this product. The only one that I can think of is that there are less expensive alternatives or less expensive USB microphones on the market. Now, I think it is very much a case that you get what you pay for. This is an incredibly high quality setup for either 129 or 199. But if you are on a super tight budget and that's not even within your budget, you can get stuff that is a fair bit cheaper at a lower quality. But I think at this price point, I'm not seeing anything that's really any better than what I've got here. And if you like Sennheiser as a brand, and if you like the sound of Sennheiser microphones, this is going to allow you to get into that sound or that brand at a very affordable price. Now, this isn't the only budget-friendly microphone that Sennheiser makes. And if you're interested in the smallest, most compact on-camera microphone that I have ever tested, I've just thrown a video on screen now. This is Sennheiser's smallest little entry-level on-camera microphone, and for maximum portability, it is the best microphone that I've ever used.